and welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching my name is Bonnie Shepard and today I'm going to go through how to make a performer CV from scratch in pages so I'm literally going to start this completely from scratch so I'm just going to go into a, a blank document but of course there are curriculum vitae there that you can use that they have already built in but I just kind of want to do my own one so we're going to go into a blank document all right so the first thing I'm going to do because I know the like the shape and the style and the aesthetic that I want to do is I'm going to get a shape. So I'm just going to pick this square and I know already that I want this square to go run down the side. I don't want it to be this colour but I'm actually not going to do the colour right now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my headshot. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto Google and I am going to find a website that will change my headshot into a circular image. So we're just going to type that into Google. So I'll leave the link for that website in the description box below. So you're going to go into crop photo and then you're going to go into upload file. When you've uploaded your file, then you're literally just going to click on the crop at the side in the toolbar. And then you're just going to scroll down to where you can get the circular shape and just adjust it to whatever shape. Now, again, you can do whatever you want into your CV. Like, you can pick whatever shape, but we're just gonna go for a circle. You're just gonna drag the size of the box and adjust it. You click in the middle of the photo to rotate or like move the photo in the middle. Yeah, so that looks good. So then once it's a circle or whatever shape you want and you're happy with it, just click the crop image and then you're just gonna download that so you have it on your desktop. So I'll just check here that it worked and it went into download. Yes, it did. So you're going to click back into your document. So in the toolbar at the top of your document, there's a button that says media. So you're just going to click on that and you're going to scroll down to choose. Once you click on choose, you're going to go find the image in your downloads, click that and import it into your document. So once you import the image, you can just adjust it, like drag the corners, the circles at the corners in, click the center of the photo to drag and actually move it around the page. And then you can just position it and do exactly what you want to do with it. Now over here on the side, on the right hand corner of the document, we have a bar. Now how you get that is you click format at the top, that paintbrush, and then you'll get a drop down in style, we're in style. And you'll go down to fill and you'll find colors in here. So I'm gonna pick a green because it's a green in the photo. I'm just gonna play around now with what color I want. I'm obviously not happy with these shades that are coming out. When you're in style, make sure that you've selected the box so the color in the box will change when you click fill and start changing the colors. So what I'll do is I'll click the arrow down in fill and I'll get this selection of different colors. So I'll go onto a color table and I can actually drag the little circle all the way around and get whatever color I want. Or I can also use the eye drop tool or the color sampler tool, just this little tool down at the bottom left hand corner and I can actually try and find a color in the photo that I want to use just so that the CV has a really coherent look and everything is matching and it's just really aesthetically pleasing to the eye. <laughs> so you also have this slider that you can use just to make it a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. Maybe you like the color that you've picked but you just want to adjust it a tiny bit and then underneath that there's an opacity. Now I don't mess around with this but you can mess around with that and it'll just make it really really lighter or like kind of like see-through okay so now we're going to do the header of the cv so like our name and our contact details where we trained and where we are currently living so we're going to click into the shape tab up on the top of our document we're going to click the circular shape and then we're just going to copy this shape four times and space it out and readjust the shape in our document how we're going to do that is just by clicking on the shape and then adjusting it by dragging the circles in the corners around click on the middle of the shape to move it around the page now that we have them the right shape and more or less in the right position we're going to click on them each individually and change the color so we're going to choose the eye drop tool and just go click on the left hand column and just copy that color so they're all the exact same color instead of messing around and trying to find the right color we're just literally going to copy and paste it Okay, so now I'm going to title my CV. I'm just going to click up on top on text and get a text box. I'm just going to adjust it to the size I want and write my name in there. Down here to have it in the center. And then this is the title. So I'll click title. Now I have to change it again. Uh, it has to be the 
the text needs to be in the center. Okay, we need to make it a bit smaller so that it all fits in. But I'm gonna actually make the, the box a bit bigger. And then I'll try and fill that. And then I'm noticing that this is actually over a bit too far, so I'm gonna move that over. And that'll help me have a larger name title. So what font are we on? Okay, let's just go for, I mean, yeah, okay, you can actually go for like whatever font you want, or you can make it really like, uh, you can go for like the same font throughout the whole CV, whatever, like that's so personal, everyone's gonna find that differently, like whatever it is that you actually like. I like rounded kind of bubble writing, but at the same time, that might be a bit sickening to read. So I might just go with, I might just be really boring. Yeah, and go with that for now. Okay, so now we're gonna slowly start adding in our information. So we're gonna click on the text box up on the top and that is actually going to give us a box where we can write our text. We're going to start by writing in our name, then our email, our phone number, and then where we trained. I'm putting them all at the same size as well. So if I'm putting one at 11 and I'm keeping the text on body, then I'm doing that for all of them. Um, you can put your title, your name at the top in a different font if you want. That's kind of quite common. I tend not to. Okay, so I was having a bit of trouble there keeping my text box getting my text box to go where I wanted them to go. So basically you need to go over to arrange and over here we have move with text, stay on page. Click on stay on page so it goes where you want it to go rather than kind of going in alignment with what it feels it should do. All right, so I'm just gonna align everything really quickly. I'm gonna fast forward this and then show you what I'm gonna do next. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go up to shapes, I believe it is, yeah. And we're gonna go to symbols and we're going to get a phone and we're going to take that make it a little bit smaller and we're going to move it on top of here college we're going to use our little graduation hat for college so we can put that in now Okay, so we're having problems with this. So stay on page, we have to go over to it around, stay on page, and then it should just do what it's told. And if you're having problems with it going missing behind the circle, over here we have back, front, uh, back, forward, so you just um, change it there. But mine seems to be grand. Okay, what else do we need? We need, okay, where we live. So like a house will do. A house will do, will do, will do. Uh, this just saves us like saying words and makes it a little bit neater. Also just makes it look a bit different to every other performer uh, for the time being. So you can stand out a bit more. Um, okay, so then another one we need is email. I don't know what will come up with email. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> of course. So just arrange it to be the size or whatever that you want. Click stay on page. So it does what it's told. And uh, there we go. Now that is just so I'm not in the right place at all. I'm not happy with that. So we're just gonna move it around. Yes, yeah, so I really with this part you can just kind of play around with it and do it as you feel. It. so that's all for like how i really like design it the rest is that you just tables putting in your information and that's it also like you don't have to have this box coming down here like you could have it anywhere on the page like you could have it going across the top you could have it going across the top like coming out of there and you could move we could move all of this down um 
and then I can just move my name and then I can make it bigger and then I could have these down here or I could change the color of the backdrop. I could have this say a white and then I could have it like that or like whatever color and I could have these up here and that could be the style and then I'd have the rest of my page down it below if that makes sense. But yeah, I'll just continue as we were. Yeah, so then after this, all you're going to do is you're going to get a table. I want the cell to be white. I want all of them to be white. I don't want any borders, uh, border style. I don't want any borders. The table outline none we don't want any of that gradient line none we don't want any of that we don't want alternative row colors so we're getting rid of them so yeah this is how we want it to be so basically when you put in the table you just want to take away all the different coloring because you literally just want it to have your text and stuff like this um so yeah now we're just going to fill that out. We'll go for the side ones first. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller because I'm going to put it on the side. And we'll add in a few more. So yeah, for a dancer, I'd add in nationality, height, weight, vocal range if you're a singer as well. Uh, body type, UK size. You could even put in a US side if you're going to be applying to the US, America, if you're able to work there, for example. Your bust, your hips, shoe size as well. Think about like going into a show that's already created where they already have their costumes here. Just trying to give as much information as quickly as possible. So now that I filled out the whole box and I've just put it in, I'm just going to play around with the spacing and exactly like where I'm going to put them. Like, do I want them in line with each other? Um, this one over here, I'm not really happy with the spacing, so I'm just going to keep playing around with that until I get it like symmetrically and aesthetically looking well or whatever. And just to title all my credits, I'm literally going to go click up here in text and get a text box and literally just write in credits and I'm just going to put that in the same font and also in bold as well. I'm just going to make the box to fit credits because that's the only thing that I'm going to be putting in this. I'll add another text box and I'll add in that I have a full driver's license and anything else I can think of. So the reason I didn't make a table for this one was more just because it was convenient. Like I don't really need a table. I'm only going to be writing one or two things under the other. Nothing crazy. I don't like how close they are together. Now instead of clicking on it and then clicking the return bar like that's too big a space well actually it's kind of quite similar to the rest of it but like let's say it was too big a space right so i would just highlight the whole thing and then i come over here to text and then i will go to lines and you're just going to click up until you get it to whatever one you want as well as that it's already the way i want it but i'm just going to click over here um just to make sure that it stays in line and you know sometimes these things they don't change right now but then maybe in the future you'll go put something else in and get all messed up and you're like what has happened so it's good to kind of get into a routine of always putting it in the text order so if you want it to be centered then you're going to be clicking this box here if you want it to be the side if you want it to be the other side like whatever style you're going for it doesn't really matter so yeah as i said before in my show reel videos um and my other videos like there's a lot expected of performers so don't get stressed if this is like stressing you out there's so many tutorials on YouTube about how to use pages if you're doing it on Word, how to use Word. Like, there's so much. And, like, just take a few days. Do it over a few days if you need to. Go right now, have a coffee break if it's all frustrating you. And, like, come back and just keep plugging away at it. Like, and you will be able to get it. It's always better to be able to edit these things yourself because you're going to go up against loads of different types of companies. Like, for example, you might be going up for a company that has nothing to do with singing and you just want them to see exactly what you've done now maybe you want to add in more detail so maybe i'd take away anything like 
that's not not to do with dance i take all of that out of my cv and i would literally just make it so obvious exactly what i've done um bear in mind they're also going to be looking at your show reel for stuff like this as well um so i guess yeah this is literally just to be like i've worked and i have experience if you don't have quote unquote professional experience if you've been in any kind of show just put that in um it's all good it's all good um so even if you haven't been in a show and you worked on like a monologue on your own like sophie's monologue from boys and put that in like it's it's all relevant like at the end of the day do you know what i mean so like looking at my cv some of the um in my credits some of the boxes like i have quite a lot so i might go back and like maybe just write the borgosh maybe people now know that that's the big tier in dublin because that is the big tier in dublin i might just take that out i might take out a uh, commercial top dancer here and just leave it as dancer just to even it out but this is essentially everything you really need to know like that would be kind of everything i do i'll always come back to my cv i'll keep this file on my computer i'll come back to it every time i have a job and i'll be like what way should i organize it like maybe like it's for a lead role and i might put my you know vocalist maureen uh that i was a lead character in a musical up at the top even though it's not in chronological like dated yearly order but i might like do that because it might just suit the job and i want them to see that first so again like that's why this video tutorial is good just so you can go through it and know how to edit but that is everything for this video i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please hit that subscribe button as it really supports my channel and lets me know that i should continue making videos for you and also if you do make your cv tag me on instagram message me on instagram if you need any help or email me or have a look on my website where i will be posting some templated cvs just for you as a present from me that's it for now bye